scrapbookers. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm organizing my scrapbooking kits. So as you can see, my kits are currently inside of a drawer and they're not being used. This is unorganized. Things are just thrown in there. Some of these kits I haven't even opened because it's a disaster. And what I need to do is organize them so I can actually start using my kits and start scrapbooking more. So the first thing that I did was I ordered these pocket envelope things from Amazon. They go inside of binders and they have a Velcro tab on them. So you can open them up and we can stick each kit inside of these envelopes and then I can have organized binders. So I'll have multiple binders. Some of them are going to be for like monthly kits and then some of them will be for other kits. So I'll be able to organize things in a couple of different ways. So here's the binders that I have. Now I did get one inch half inch, half or one inch binders, I don't remember, but they're definitely not big enough. So I'm gonna get some bigger binders to have. But once I organized all of these, I'm telling you I've already started crafting with them and I've already started creating scrapbooking layouts and it's been really fun. And the pack that these come in from Amazon is huge. So you get a ton of them. I will have everything linked down below. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start by taking everything out of that drawer, putting it on my desk so I can start to organize all of the supplies. Here's an overview of all the kits laid out on the desk. As you can see, they're each in their own packaging and it just, it doesn't work. You can't see in the packaging. I don't know which kit is in what package. Um, so I'm excited to get all of these organized. Now, what I did is I took each kit and I opened the kits up and I started to organize them from there. So the first ones that I started with were the monthly kits. So I think the ones that I have here are September, or August or July, August and September. My October monthly kit is somewhere else because I'm currently using it. So I didn't organize that one just yet, but I'm going to keep the monthly kits inside of a binder by themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the other kits that I'm going to organize, what I did is I took each of them, I went through everything. And the best part about this is I started having ideas of scrapbooking layouts. And I actually will show you a little later how I plan for those. Um, but I took everything out and in each kit, most of it's color coordinated and the words belong together and the embellishments all go together. So most of it stayed within the envelope. However, there are some embellishments, for example, like hearts. They didn't have any wording on them. There was just a basic heart. I separated those. I also have some basic words that I separated because I have a different organization system for those. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. So. Again, I started with the monthly kits, got those put into envelopes, and then now I'm working on all of the other kits. And each one of these kits have um, titles to them and names, but um, I don't know, I don't know all the names for them. And if you're wondering where I got all of these kits from, most of my scrapbooking supplies are from um, Allie Edwards and I'll have her website linked down below, but I do a monthly subscription. So every single month I get new kits sent to me and I love it. However, they just haven't been organized to where I could actually use them. So we have a lot of scrapbooking to do you guys, which I'm, I'm really excited for that. Here's another view of me going through a kit. That little stack up there kind of on the right side, um, that's the stack that I've pulled different elements from each kit that are kind of basic and that I can organize in a different way.
little tip for you if you try to organize your scrapbooking supplies. I recommend turning on some music or a your favorite movie, lighting a candle, and trying to not get overwhelmed by all of the supplies that you have and take it kit by kit or section by section, category by category, however you decide to go about it, but one at a time. Don't look at the overall big picture. I know that many of us, when it comes to scrapbooking and crafting, we have a ton of supplies and it can be a little overwhelming trying to figure out the best way to organize something. Now, I'm not saying my system is like the best system ever. I may change this in the future and if I do, I'll update you, but what we have to remind ourselves is that we have to try new systems to finally find one that works for us. And I know that that gets aggravating sometimes and it gets frustrating. Um, we're spending this time doing it and the money doing it, but we don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work until we try it. So when it comes to organizing, take it, slow down, try not to think about the overall, all the things that you have, take it, you know, um, kit by kit and try to find the best solution for you. If you have to watch multiple videos on YouTube, search on Instagram, get on Pinterest. Pinterest is a great resource and you guys can look at different ways to organize your scrapbooking kits. Now this container has my one little word kits in it. So Allie Edwards has a, a scrapbooking theme for one little word. And this is for you to document the word that you choose at the beginning of the year. I did not do well with this. I've not done well with any scrapbooking this year. So all of my supplies from the year are inside of this tote. It's not a tote, I'm sorry. It's like a little storage box. I got it from Ikea. And I'm actually going to keep everything inside of there, but I had some other stuff from Week in the Life that I wanted to kind of straighten up and some things from One Little Word that I'm putting inside of this little container. Like I said, going through the kits and organizing everything was bringing ideas for layouts inside of my head. So I grabbed a little notepad and I started writing down some ideas. And then I thought, you know what? Instead of writing the ideas down, let's actually plan for them. So there is a awesome woman that I follow on Instagram. Her name's Crystal. She, I watched a video and I'll actually have her Instagram and the video that I watched linked down below, but she plans out her scrapbooking layouts from kits. And I'm telling you, it is an amazing way to figure out ways to actually use the kits. So I don't want you to ever get all your supplies and look at them and you're like, what am I going to do? What I like to do is follow her system for planning these kits out, putting everything into a hard plastic envelope that I got from scrapbook.com, which I'll also have those linked down below in the description box so you guys can check those out. But then whenever I go to sit down to actually create the layout, I already know what I'm doing. I already have all of the supplies together. I already have notes and everything taken. I'm not starting from scratch. So I took some time. I didn't film all of them, but I planned out, I think seven different layouts. So like I went through the kits and I already have seven scrapbooking layouts that I can create. So that made me so happy because now I have a starting point. So make sure you check out Crystal and you watch the video where she shows you how you can plan out your scrapbook layouts. So remember earlier how I said some of the kits, I pulled out some of the basic ephemera or embellishment pieces so like hearts or words or tags well this little drawer system i found this at tj maxx and this is where i'm organizing everything and i'll show you a close-up picture or a video of everything here in just a second but i have sections for words so chip word words plastic words acrylic words sticker words anything like that this one here is for circles so i have anything that's a, a circle any color any size circles um all of them are circular, <laughs> right? Um, so I have everything stored inside of here and I really like this because these drawers come out, I can take them to my desk, I can have multiple drawers at once and I know, hey, I need a tag so I can go right there to that and I can find tags. So here's what everything looks like. And starting from the top left, we have words. The next one is stars. And then we have circles on the top. Below that, we have random shapes. And then we have hearts. And then I have one for hexagons. Below that we have tags. 
there's one that has some random things inside of it and this one also has random things inside of it this bottom one has the extra divider so if i need to divide things up into even smaller categories i can so for example if i only have a few of each item they can go into smaller sections the next one has sequences in it and then the bottom left one has some thought bubbles inside of it that's how I organize all of my basic shapes or any type of embellishment that I can use in any scrapbook layout. Okay, scrapbookers, that is how I am organizing all of my story kits. I like having them in clear envelopes so I can see what's in here. I know what's going on. It's better than leaving them inside of these because then I'm just digging and I'm trying to figure out what's in there. So these are not the most functional thing in the world, but they, they're... Um, I can see them inside of here. I have other kits as well, like this one, for example, and I'll leave these types of kits in this packaging because again, it's see-through. I can see what's inside of there. Same thing for my Week in the Life kit that I got. Um, this, All of the Week in the Life stuff's here. So if I wanna do a Week in the Life, I can pull this one kit out if I like this kit and I can create you know, pages with that. And then as far as one little word, this might not be the most functional thing, but I actually enjoy having it this way. So for one little word, all of my one little word supplies are inside of here. Stamps, ephemera, chipboard pieces, tags, stickers, everything that I've gotten inside of previous kits are inside of this one box. It, it's not super functional, but I'll tell you it actually brings me joy. So if I sit down to use one little word kit, it's kind of fun because I get to dig around in here and I'm like, ooh, what kind of goodies are inside of this box? Um, that's that's the beauty of uh, scrapbooking and crafting, right? We, we dig through things and we forget we have things and then we run across something and we're like, this kind of story would work perfect with that. So I kind of like the joy that this box brings me of digging inside of craft supplies. Um, reminds me of when I was a kid. But anyways, might not be the most functional thing to do, but I do love the way that this is stored. Now, I would not have all of my kits in individual containers like this. That is, um, that was my Bluetooth speaker, but I wouldn't put them all in kits like this or in boxes like this because it would be too many boxes to try to store. And the kits, most of them are not huge anyways. Um, and this is just a more functional, more functional storage option. So I hope this gives you some inspiration. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Links are in the description box and I will see you guys in the next video.